All right, what's up everyone and welcome back to Forge Hub and today we're going to be checking out some pretty incredible Halo Infinite custom maps. Now, as y'all have I'm sure seen on the internet, there have been a ton of incredible maps made over the last couple months. So I'm going to be jumping in and going to be playing some of these maps. And again, all download links will be in the description down below. So let's go ahead and jump into the very first map first one is called Orion Alley. Now, as you can tell, this is a Bioshock theme map and it is a beautiful map and it is created by Farsight 360. Now, this map goes through tons of different sections of the game itself, like the atrium area, the area that like you have the little pod. I don't know what it's called, but like the little pod that you come in uh originally and then you hop out on there there's a big daddy that's you know dead you know covered with ice and snow and everything and just overall the you know the entire atmosphere of this map is just so well done in the details it's the small little details and stuff like this that are on maps that really make a map and it just more immersive to be able to play in uh and some of these things are like the little turrets uh, they, he actually did put uh, some, you know, mounted turrets on top that you can pick up. And so you're like kind of pulling it off of the turrets like in Bioshock. And, you, you know, you're going to be using that uh, gun. And so it's just a way to provide, you know, the aesthetic of the turrets from Bioshock. But actually being able to use it uh, in Halo, you know, as the actual mounted turret. Now there's other really cool things in here. I love the little health stations. Um, I also love the little the spots where the little sisters uh, come out of the holes in the walls uh, that you normally see in the game. The overall atmosphere around the outside of some of the cracks in the glass and water is dripping in and leaking in and just things are kind of breaking all apart and the outside city itself is a beautiful city and beautiful recreation of what it is like you know in Bioshock so overall this is such a fantastic map and I was not ever expecting anyone to be able to make something this detailed because there's so much you know detail in here you like you go around every corner and there's something that you you see and you're like oh yeah that was in the game and this is so cool and it's just overall this is just a really great map highly suggest playing it again the download link is in the description down below and would you kindly Go download this map. All right, and the next map that we're going to be checking out is Last Resort Minecraft Recreation. Yes, this is a Minecraft re recreation of Last Resort. It's fantastic. It is made by Riskiest Soul 35. Now, this map, as you can tell, is Minecraft. Like it, they did a, such a great job of adding the grass patches, the sand, you know, the textures on the wall for like the brick texture and stuff, and just kind of adjusting some things to fit in the minecraft style uh you know just because not everything will work if you're playing and stuff uh i'm really happy they didn't necessarily make it uh to where you have to jump on every block now there are some blocks like especially down by the beach uh where they're a little bit you know it's a little bumpy so you got to make sure you got to jump on some areas but that's perfectly fine and overall this is just totally you know just ridiculous to be able to play on and a ton of fun uh, to be able to play on just because you're not expecting to play in a Minecraft type of world in Halo and especially with a recreation of Last Resort. Uh, so it's just overall a ton of fun to be able to play on. Um, I do enjoy some of the additions that they made uh, to, you know, just make it feel a little bit more like Minecraft with the lighting and adding torches and stuff like that onto the wall. It's just a lot more enjoyable and it's really cool. Uh, just with that Minecraft theme and aesthetic and everything. So overall, this is a fantastic map. I definitely highly suggest on playing it. Uh, again, the download link will be in this in the description down below. The next map we have is the Halo 3 Warthog Run. Now, this is a remake of the, the Warthog Run from Halo 3 with some slight adjustments. You know, you can't make it perfectly because it's not large enough of a canvas to be able to really fit the full thing. So there are some teleporters in there to teleport you to different sections, but it is instant teleportation, you know, and you don't really have any type of issues with it. Like you just go right through the teleporting, you immediately spawn into the next section. Uh, but this is made by Unbroken Onyx, and it is a beautiful remake of the Halo 3 Warthog Run. They even include 
uh, the mongoose and the uh, ghost uh, that you can drive uh, that's over to the left side of the beginning of the actual you know uh, warthog run so that's something that's really nice I was wondering that whenever I first jumped in and played it, I was like is it gonna be there I went and looked and it was there and that's fantastic now there's constant explosions going off they even have the grunt at the very end the little grunt Easter egg uh, and it's just it's kind of fun to just you know play this with the Halo Infinite Warthog uh, just because the suspension in the Warthog and Halo Infinite is awesome and so you really bounce around and you don't like kind of you know slam into the landing like what you did in Halo 3 uh, with that Warthog if you go off a huge jump you just hit the ground real hard and it makes like this real loud noise uh, like and you bottom out so the Halo Infinite Warthog I think is better suited for this because uh, you really bounce off of those landings and then you can keep your momentum and keep driving so overall this is again a very fun map to be able to play on I highly suggest downloading downloading it and just like uh, what I said in previous maps the download link will be in the description down below all right, and the next map is called Athenaeum by Bullet to the Head 9, and this is a beautiful map that supports up to two to four players. It is a really small map, but it is a ton of fun to be able to play on, and the aesthetics are incredible. This is pretty much like an overgrown old library, and everything is kind of wooden. Uh, and so it's just all the details of, you know, pieces of the ceiling falling apart, you know, the just rubble on the ground, the actual book, you know, shelves and everything on the walls are just really well done and well detailed as well as the railings and the outside section where there is a small area that you do go outside uh, where you can pick up a power up. And, you know, you can go ahead and activate that and go back into the action. Uh, and it's just overall, just the aesthetics itself on this, the surrounding aesthetics uh, with the outdoors area, like the mountains off into the distance are fantastic. Uh, just the, um, uh, what is it called? The window panes are really well done. They're just make it to where it just adds more immersion to it, especially with the light rays and the God rays coming through. Uh, these window panes or the broken parts of the windows uh, just overall this is a really fun and fantastic map highly suggest downloading it and that will be it for today's video i hope y'all enjoyed all these incredible maps uh, that you can go play right now uh, like i said earlier in the video all the download links to these maps will be in the description down below be sure to subscribe right here on forge hub for more halo infinite custom maps and i will see y'all next time and remember let's forge a new halo